Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for today's super important episode. Uh, today I'm going to Today I'm gonna to give you my three month manifestation update to let you know what's been going on. Three months using the law of attraction, incredible things have been happening. Now, I just wanna point out that during this third month, there were actually five planets in retrograde. And when I was um, about to film this video, I kind of got a little bit disheartened and I was like, oh, nothing massive happened this month. Because if you remember last month, I was working on Sir Richard Branson's private luxurious island on Makepeace, or Makepeace Island in Noosa, um, in the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, if you're probably not around here. Um, and then I was driving like an Audi Q7 and I was taking a jet, a jet boat to and from work, which was crazy. That contract ended, it was only a two week contract. But then when I was reflecting down what I have manifested for the third month, there is so much, look, I've literally filled a whole entire page full of stuff. And I've had that much stuff that I've had to break it into one, two, three, four, five different categories. Now this month predominantly was focused on business. Um, more so my YouTube channel, Melanie Kate Love, and then also my business that I will be launching. So there were so many little things. So let me just get started and talk you through. So the, actually, before I get into that, the five categories are YouTube, um, my business, experiences, clothing and then i've got a miscellaneous because it's kind of like all my little jumbly things but before i get started i just need to let you know that money was really really um great this month that it had increased i had money from unexpected sources which was even better i also celebrated my 30th birthday oh, i'm in the 30s i'm so excited to be 30. most people are like oh my god you're not married you don't have a house you don't have this and this and i was like dude everything is working out for me you stay in the vortex you practice the law of attraction you feel gratitude prosperity you take proactive action and beautiful things manifest so if you're actually new to the this whole Law of Attraction series and you've just stumbled across my video right now, I have a previous 10 or 11 episodes for you to catch up on in this series. So watch this one and then go and find out how I actually did it. So in regards to YouTube, oh my goodness, I was actually invited to a YouTube event in Brisbane, which is about an hour and a half south where I live. And it was um, for content creators who have 10,000 plus subscribers. And I got to network with some beautiful people. One person in particular that I wanna do a shout out for is her name is DN Love. She is a hula hoop master. This girl has got so much style and she's just got this energy about her. I was literally drawn to her. She was the only person in the whole um, event with all these other content creators that I was actually, I'm like, I wanna talk to you. Everyone else was like, oh, hi. Like I was being polite, but her, I was like, dude, we need to chat. Anyway, she is fabulous. Um, so yeah, so I went to a YouTube event and also at the YouTube event, they actually catered for the first time vegan food, um, which was massive because normally I have to ask and I'm kind of like, oh, and they bring it out. And like last time they had, actually, I'm not going to talk about what they had last time. But anyway, last time it wasn't great. This time was fabulous. And they actually had vegan brownies for dessert, which I was like, whoa, because last time you're never like, vegans are never catered for. Whoa, 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 wrong. I'm using the wrong choices of thoughts because I have to be very careful about my vibration. Um, it's, it's really lovely that YouTube have catered for vegans now. Um, and in the suggestions box, I just said, can you please have vegan milk so I can have a cup of tea? So that was really, really cool. Also, I actually um, spoke, spoke on the microphone in front of all the content creators. And that is massive for me because on camera, I'm like, ah! but in real life, I'm like, ah! so it's completely different. Um, I don't know what it is. I have no problem talking to a camera, even though I know there's like, 17,200 of you out there. Um, but it's different when it's real life people. I think also being like a primary school teacher, I'm used to talking on assembly to like 300, 400 children, but I don't know what it is about adults. Anyway, I was super proud of myself. So that was amazing. 
Also, I put myself out there and networked because I wasn't going to go that day to the event because I found out that my dad's best friend had just passed away from cancer. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I should go, but the universe is like, Mel, just meditate for an hour. It doesn't matter if you weren't going to arrive when you were going to arrive, you know, divine time, everything will work out. And I got there and then it was just all perfect. So it worked out really, really well. What else? Also, I got to meet a producer, which was amazing at the event. So that's kind of like good network um, contacts. I also met another creator who told me about um, a media kit and what you need to prepare and that, that's another business thing. So that was my YouTube thing. Another thing also is that my views have increased so much because of not only my um, episode one of my Law of Attraction series, How to Manifest Anything, that's got over 20,000 views. So thank you for watching that one. Also, my spiritual readings where I talk about my numerology, tarot, oracle, and I've just got another deck of cards that um, arrived where I talk about the full moon and the new moon energies and how to best to equip yourself to deal with them. Um, those views are just skyrocketing. My last video is almost on 4,000 views, which is a massive jump in what my videos in the past have typically got. So that was amazing, which in turn has increased my income with YouTube. So thank you for supporting my channel. Okay. Um, also, I actually got sent um, a product to try out on my channel that I'm actually excited about. I don't know if I'm going to feature it on YouTube or Instagram. I haven't really worked out. Well, it depends if I even like it because people write to me and they're like, hey, look, I'm going to send you this for free. I'm like, that's really great, but I don't I'm, thank you, but no thank you. But this was a product that I have been thinking about for ages and I was like, huh, I didn't even know how I could find it. But then someone emailed me with this product saying, Mel, um, would you like to try the product? I was like, yes, please. And that just arrived yesterday, which is so exciting. The other thing is that I had more businesses emailing me, which was amazing. Um, but do you remember in my episode, in my two month update, and I was saying like people were emailing me, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted. So now I've been able to kind of fine tune more what I want. So that is even better. I got these, this is on my vision board. Do you remember these? Archangel Raphael healing oracle cards. I did a reading for myself yesterday and then I did one on, over the phone for my mum and I got told that I'm not allowed to drink caffeine or have sugar or have any kind of chemical in my body um, because it's interfering with my intuition. I was like, Ugh. I drink like a whole like pot of, like I literally have a whole pot of tea, but now it has chamomile tea. I've now switched to herbal. Transitioning. Anyway. That's amazing. Also, I went to the library and I found this fabulous book which gave me inspiration for a brand new series to talk about on my channel. It's all about forgiveness because I noticed episode two or three in this series, The Law of Attraction, um, the video, how to release physical emotional blockages got a lot of views and I was like, how can I build upon that? Because that is the foundation. You can't manifest things if you have grudges and you haven't released or surrendered um, whatever you feel is right for you to the universe. So there is going to be a forgiveness series coming right up. In regards to my business, Melanie Kate Love, which I have yet to release, I needed a lot of help. I have no idea how to build a website, what type of theme to pick, how to do this, this, and this. Anyway, I got, so I got um, drawn to the Female Entrepreneur Association, which is run by Carrie Green. Um, and she's a very successful woman and I was drawn to her because of her story and her story very much links up with mine. Oh my gosh, my battery's on 11%. I'll have to make this quick. Um, so then from that, I found inspiration to find the right WordPress theme. Then I found um, photographers to work for, to work with. I found the color palette for my website and I was able to work out how to make an email signature because that was just like, gobbledygook to me. So that was exciting. In regards to experiences onto the third category, I went kayaking for my 30th birthday, which was an experience in itself because I totally flipped out and I, and it was a tandem kayak. So Peter was at the back and he's like super big and strong and he can like paddle like super fast. And like, anyway, I was freaking out about that. Uh, I went to see Beauty and the Beast. 
I got to kind of do more things that my income increased, which was amazing. Um, I went swimming training. I haven't swam in so long. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you would see that I'm swimming at nighttime now because the pool in my kind of complex um, is heated. By the way, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, um, it is actually moving into uh, winter here. Not that it's like a real winter like you guys have, but it's getting colder in the evenings. I'm talking like a hoodie on, that's it. <laughs> um, and I'm learning to protect my energy a lot more. I feel like I'm dealing with a lot more people that are going through crisis, crises, is that how the plural? Or a crisis, I'm not too sure. Um, and also people that just need extra, extra help and they're they're at like level 22 of the emotional guidance scale and I'm like trying to stay at one and trying to help them but not lose my energy. So that's gonna be, that was challenging but I'm getting so much better. I literally talk on the phone um, or if I'm Skyping with white sage burning to protect my energy and then I meditate before and after and then I find some way to quickly raise my vibration. So that was amazing because that's something that I haven't been doing well with in the past. In regards to clothing, there was, or like shoes, there's so many things that I actually got. Oops. One was this pink jumper. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I was playing the $100 vibrational game. Um, I'll make a video about that on my channel, actually. Oh, I gotta write that down. It's like how to manifest more money. It literally worked because I got the jumper <laughs> for my birthday. Toms are my favorite shoes. They have a whole new vegan range now. And I was posted a picture on my Instagram ages ago. And then I was like, oh, and I told my mom about it. And then before I know it, she bought me the exact same pair of Toms for my birthday. And she bought herself the exact same pair too. She's going to, yeah, she's going on a holiday soon. The other one is I got high-waisted black pencil skirt. I wanted a black, uh, like, a, like a high-waisted skirt. I didn't really necessarily ask what type for ages because I've had a lot of these crop tops. Like this top here is like, oh, you can see my, my, what do you call it? I was trying to hide my mic. I totally blew my cover. <laughs> this top is shorter and it works better with like a cropped um, jean, but it's too hot to wear jeans during the day. Um, and I've got a high waisted skirt and it just, yeah. Anyway, I don't know where that was going. I got new togs. Um, togs or bathers, swimming costumes, swimming suit, whatever you want to call it. And it was like a two in one. I needed a new pair of togs to train in for swimming training. But then I also wanted a pair to wear to the beach so that when I was boogie boarding or bodyboarding, um, my bottoms wouldn't fall off. So I got a one piece and it is stunning. That's that was also featured on my Instagram stories. You guys need to check it out. Um, I got a new cup. I actually put on my vision board. Mm, it's a bit hard to see because of the lighting. Anyway, um, that cup manifested. I actually had that on my vision board. If you remember at the top, if I flip you around here, top right hand um, of my vision board. I didn't necessarily, I had that I wanted like a gold or like a bronze kind of detail on it. Anyway, beautiful cups. Um, so yeah, I got that one. What else? I got a new travel mug, which is really cool. Got a new water bottle. I got new knickers that don't give me muffin top, which is like, oh, that is like a blessing because that is tricky to find these days. Okay, in regards to miscellaneous. Um, so the, um, oh, I also, uh, when I was meditating this month, I was doing a lot more meditation. Um, I actually did a guided meditation from like some random dude on YouTube, how to connect with your spirit guide. And during the meditation, my spirit guide told me, like she first time she spoke to me, she told me her name was Angelica or Angelina, and Angelica, I think it was Angelica. And that was massive because I've always wanted to know that. Um, Peter, actually, my beautiful partner, just started the Kamari method, which I have done the Kamari method for like, six, seven, seven or eight months now. I've made a series on my channel. There's three videos to check out. Um, he started the Kamari method, which is amazing. Um, my mum started practicing self-love on a daily basis. Um, I got offered a job, but I didn't ask for 
you know that video, How to Manifest Anything, I say write a list. Well, I wrote a list, but I missed stuff out. And I've had so many people stuff me around lately. So I don't, I must be giving off bad energy in regards to that. Um, we also got sandbags for our house. The reason why is that there was actually a cyclone. Um, if you Google um, Hangman Island, Airlie Beach, um, Mackay, that's where my family is from. Anyway, so the cyclone traveled down south and yeah, so we got told that the cyclone was gonna come then after it was gonna have like flash flooding to 200 to 300 mils in our area. And yeah, so we got sandbags, but when we were lining up to get the sandbags, there was like, we had to wait because they had run out. And then all of a sudden this truck pulls up next to our car, like around the corner from everybody else. And he's back of his truck was loaded full of sandbags. He's like, how many do you need? I was like, oh no, 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 all of those people waiting. He's like, dude, these are too heavy. Your car is just here. I'll quickly put them in. He loaded up and we had 16 sandbags. Turns out we didn't have to use them. So thank you universe. Also, another thing is I got more phone data and Peter and I, well, Peter, <laughs> um, wrote a very lovely letter to our very vocal neighbors who have very vocal lovemaking. <laughs> and he wrote a very, very kind slash jokeful um, letter to them to say, guys, just, just close the window or turn some music on or something. So that was something that was been bothering us for six months. So we found a nice way to say it because there was times where I was just like, just shut up. And I'm like, by saying that, I'm asking more for that in my vibration. So I didn't know how to do it. And then Peter saved the day. So that was wonderful. Anyways, my love, that is everything that I have manifested in my three months um, of using the law of attraction. I just hope that wherever you are in your journey, that you know, you're just taking it day by day. Watch my self-love video, um, how to how to love yourself, I think it is called now. I've changed it about four times. Anyway, it's the thumbnail which says self-love practices, heal all blockages. And that is the most important one. Find something that helps you clear your mind to just like feel a little bit of calm. And visualize is so important and feel the emotions associated with it you also need to take action you can't just like oh i feel that it's happening and this is it because you have to take the steps like if you want a job you just can't be like this is how i feel when i got the phone call of the job you actually have to apply for jobs <laughs> you know um and then yeah release surrender any of your reservations or worries or fears to the universe and divine time will take care of the rest anyways my love i just want to say thank you for watching i have to talk really quick my my um microphone that's plugged in is just about to die have an amazing day anyway i've been talking for like 18 minutes i will see you next episode remember continue to make better choices and vibrate on the most powerful frequency of all love i love you guys have an amazing day goodbye